Hello, uh, this is Jay Rodman. I'm back with Bard's Tale 3. I am trying using the built-in microphone this time because I realized that the cell phone-oriented headset I was using was feeding back the audio of the game back into the recording of my voice. And if that's going to be the case, I uh, might as well dispense with all the problems uh, with making it not jitter around on my clothing because... Again, it's a cell phone headset. Anyway, if uh, the audio is terrible, I'm sorry, but I think it will be okay. Uh, at least we'll have low bleed through from the game audio into my voice, giving you two copies of the game audio with flanging and stuff. Okay, enough about that. Um, what I'm gonna do is try to pl is try to go down. I've gotten a little sick of the grindy. And I kind of want to try Brill Hasty again, but I'm not in a big rush. So I'm going to go down to level four and try to map it more properly. And in the process, I'll end up fighting lots of things. And maybe, maybe that will serve all purposes. Huh, where is... My floppy disk control. Okay, now I can see what this guy have in. Incidentally, the floppy disk control also makes the little green LED that I place in the corner of the map. And mostly I do that so that when the game freezes and nothing's happening, you can sort of see that it is loading. I don't want to cry sight. I want to port arcane and I'm going to go let's try 14 west. And three down. Can I go down to the third level? Oop, three down. Um I wanna see if I can go down to the third level immediately. I may have already determined I can't. I cannot. I think I already determined I can't wrap around. I think it's gonna be harder for me to cover up if I cough or burp or whatever with this audio setup, but there's always editing it out or living with it. Okay, so to the east should be a spinner, and there, it blissfully did not spin me, so let's go east again. Oh, I didn't realize you could see the portal. It's funny, you can't see the stairs, but they'll let you see the portal. Okay, I need to start putting the spinners down that I'm encountering. There's a little point in just filling them in, if I don't know what I find. Which way I want to go from here. This way is fine. Okay, stepping north. I can't tell if it spun me because I didn't get the flash. Oh, of course it didn't spin me. Because I stepped here. Okay, this is definitely a spinner. Sure, I'll, that, and that, is, that must be east, because this way doesn't have... Wait, no, that must be west, because east is too far. 
So I'm looking for the all black screen. Yeah, some the two, three, four. This way is too far now, and one, two, three, four. So this is to the east. And um, I was facing north because that's the right distance. Now I'm definitely facing south, and I'm happy to go that way. <coughs> I'm gonna head into the corner. I just wait till the corners on my screen. I'm just turning and waiting for the spinner to spin me around randomly. Could be facing south or east, but it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna wait till the wall is on my right, which will mean I'm facing north. Okay. Facing north, I will step north. The double flash means the spinner, even though it didn't spin me. That one spun me south. I'm facing east, uh, south, east, south. That's west. You can tell because you can't see anything. And north. Oh, I lost my light. I think it just timed out. I don't really know. If it didn't time out, that is weird that I still have all my other spells working. I'm gonna recast the compass, even though it's useless in this room. Okay, that's north. More spinner. I'm just assuming every spot here is a spinner, except for the hamburger path, but... I'm gonna verify it. You know what I should do? I should keep second sight up. Although I'm surprised it isn't telling me there's a spinner <laughs> everywhere I go. Makes me wonder if it's really working. There are s square there are cell effects that turn your second sight off. Okay, so I have a fair number of squares left to hit, and many of them will be harder to tell what's happening. I'm going to start off by trying to head west from here. Okay, that must be west. So I'm gonna go that way. Uh, it's four distance way wall, so it must be w south. That's north. That's south again. That's east. There's west. Now from here, I can't actually tell the difference between north and west, but I should be able to spot south, which is that. And that direction must be east, because I can't see anything. I 
can't tell which one that is, but it's not. A, it's either north or west, and I don't want either. It's south, which is good enough for today. Because once we have a hamburger path, I can reliably get to this square. That's south. It was not. I misjudged. I went west. I'm gonna go east. That view has to be this way. Those are three distance walls. And it turned me around to face north, which means it's a spinner too. Okay, I think this is south. I'm spinning in place there until I get somewhere I can deal with. Okay, from here, I think I want to take the hamburger path around, and then go to this square. Uh, a soul crusher. Let's fight a soul crusher. I totally pressed F. Guess it was loading. Because walls showed up at all, it's a spinner, and because it's asymmetric, right and center, not left, I can tell I'm facing this way, which is ideal, because I want to go that way. Now, which way am I facing? It's four away walls, which means I must be facing east, so I will go. I think let's, well, I'll back up to remind myself where I am, but next I think I'm going to go here. A prime demon, a ghast, I think that's a G, not a C. And a lot of mad howlers. This doesn't seem particularly friendly. In D&D, ghasts, what did they do? They didn't paralyze you. It was like worse somehow. I don't know. Um, Bard will do Sanctuary Score, Hide, Mind Blade, and Anti Magic, because I don't know what I'm getting into here. Mad Howlers can wither. Okay, that's nice. Maybe I should have cast invisibility instead of anti magic. I'm doing another round of uh, armor class improvements on my bard song. I'm still worried about the prime demon. So I'm going to prep my rogue 
with an ogre strength and a mind blade. Hopefully I can start taking out some of those mad howlers with the mind blade. Chantrell's almost dead. I guess you probably should have cast Restoration. Well, the gas went down to the Mind Blade. Restoration and Mind Blade. Did I just kill the Prime Demon with Mind Blade? I think I did. Okay, one takeaway from this is cast more Mind Blades. So I stepped there and I'm gonna step forward. Yep, Spinner. No surprise. Uh, I must be facing north because of the wall distance. I don't know if that's south or east. That is east. Or south or west, rather. This is east. Okay. And I can verify I'm right. Let's see? Okay. <laughs> Look, Ma. No hands. Um. I don't know how to proceed from here. North and east look the same. South and west look the same. I must have gone north, given where the corner is. So I'm going to go to the corner, and then wall on the left will go south. Come on, wall on the left. Please, thank you. And I want the blackness at this point, because I've gone this way. Well, I, really, really, I... I Starting here, I went north, east, south, south. Now I want to go west. Oh, I haven't gone south yet? Oh, I only went south once from the corner. Right. Okay, good thing I checked. Come on, black screen. Okay. Black screen achieved. We are now here. From here, I can't differentiate these two directions. If I went either one of them, I wouldn't know which way. No, I would be able to figure it out afterwards. So, I'll step forward. And I went here. And now I want some form of blackness. I went west again. So south and east takes me here. One more east is another spinner. And uh, that wall, I'm facing the way I want to go, south. Well, no, I am not. I, I went north, didn't I? I misjudged the two, the, the um, wall right in front of me is easy. The wall one away is easy. Two away and three away, I get confused a lot. I'm waiting for the black screen. That's north, that's south, 
That's south. That's west. That's east. There's west. So I was here. I stepped here. I thought I was stepping this way and I stepped this way because they look the same. So I've gone this way now. Okay, definitely here. Okay. I don't remember if I stepped this place, I will now. So that's a pretty guaranteed coverage of this area and if you don't believe me, we can check the map. Now, I didn't... I haven't filled in... Oh, I actually didn't step in this spot. The auto map tells me. I must have gotten confused, or I already had it filled in. And... Because I certainly didn't step in these spots on this trip, but I did them before. I'm gonna call it done, though. I'm gonna believe my map over... I'm gonna decide that my map is probably right, and I don't need to doubt whether I mapped it last time or this time. Break out the second site and start detecting something. Something is not very useful. But I do know there's nothing in these spots. I don't know what to use for nothing. I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna use like a gray circle for it. There ain't nothing here. Okay, and I'm gonna verify my second sight wasn't turned off by going. Yeah, we still have the something. One way to find out what the something is is by walking directly into it. I'm not sure I'm excited about that. I'm gonna do a sweep of the next row. I think it's fairly safe to assume oh, how do I how do I get the oops. how do I get the list of stuff? It's fairly safe to assume that this is a room of these. Oh, I need the right color. Between what the automap is going to show, which will be say the same thing, and my experience on this side, and I don't know, maybe I'm taking a shortcut because I've already because I remember. Oh wait, what? I went all the way north. That's not what I meant to do. Shoot. Okay, well, we can reset. Ah, uh, cast. Port Arcane. We can go 11 to the south. And one up.
I guess I needed to go 12 to the south. But whatever. Now that I'm here, I can guarantee that it's going to step on this spot. One, two. It's a spinner, all right. was sure I was here, and I might be here. But the game started loading right in the middle of my movement, so I don't really know how many keystrokes got accepted. Invisible. I feel like that should be enough armor. See if that's true. We could try out fear. I think it makes it easier for us to hit them, or harder for them to hit us, or something like that. Just says, cast a spell. I don't really get to find out much about it. They're hard to hit, aren't they? I used to think all of the attacks from multiple attacks were rolled separately. But now I'm not so sure, because if you're attacking like six times, you wouldn't usually hit six and hit zero. Okay, let's cure that poison. Oh, the spell ran out. That's what happened. Okay. At this point, I'm not seeing anything. Okay, look, my second sight just fell off. It wasn't working. So that was like a lie. I'm only get so getting something ahead on this row. And this row. And this row. Over here, so in the middle, I gotta get something ahead. Which 
might be the things I'm supposed to avoid. So I stepped forward one, and I'm going to sweep back to the west. I don't know what just appeared on the screen, it's something probably just offered to join me. Okay, so this gives me a spell's waiver notice. Now that means... There's an anti-magic zone, which we're calling Blue Field. And we didn't detect it from this edge, so that means it's exactly here. Again, our spells waver. Uh, something ahead, still. I can't remember what these green boxes were supposed to be. I think they were traps. I think it was trap ahead, which would suggest this that was the trap was here. Uh, spells waver again. Did I step forward? I probably did. Damn it. Because I press enter and it goes to the wrong program. And enter is unfortunately move forward a stone blade I didn't think we got stone blades this early and many things oh, oh no we didn't move forward I just got paranoid Okay, so something ahead, spells waver, trap is near. And we didn't see trap is near earlier. So this spare space is a trap also. When I looked south north from here, it didn't detect the trap, but now I do. So there's a something in here. Still don't know what the somethings are. Uh, and then anti-magic and trap here. And here we have a fight with putrefiers, which I think they make me old, which is not as big a threat in the sense that I'm already old. And I mean, two, two of my characters are old. I mean, I'm old too, but that's a different story. Hide. I'm just going to mind blade the heck out of them. Two of them are down, and most of them are severely injured. Hopefully I can get rid of most of them this next round. That looks like success. And the speed, what everything is dropping here. Okay, so um, speed boots give me, I, if I remember correctly, a very good chance to run away from combat. Did they make me cause cause me to unequip anything? No, I think they're like in a, I think they're a, like a foot a footwear slot or something.
Oh, my mages are entirely full. Whatever. Um, I'm gonna give this to my thief, because I look at the thief's inventory more often. But the stone blade... Um... I don't know who should use it. A stone blade is one of the instant kill weapons. Mm. I'm gonna give it to Grisnok. She seems to be doing the least damage of my front three right now. I already knew there was a trap here. Now... Now I know that there's a blue field. I mean, the game... Oh, come on. Just, just, just let me move this so that I can get to the blue field. Thank you. Okay. And... Still don't know what something is. There's definitely, but, the, but I guess by now I definitely know that the something is not to the west. Because nothing shows up over there. So these aren't there. Well, now I'm worried because facing. Oh, are, these were these were, sorry, these were not um, where there's something. They were there where there was not something. But I can. For places I've actually stood, I don't need to mark that. I. It's confusing to mark it still. Also, I don't need it. However, my spell points. Did my spell points go way down? Or I just cast a bunch of spells. I think I just cast a bunch of spells. Okay, let's step forward here. Did I do it already? For real? No. Now we got a spells waiver in this lot. And we didn't before, so there's a blue field here. Maybe there's more like two layers of blue. Looking north, we have a trap reported. I don't think we had a trap reported before. So... At this point, I think I know a trap is here. This trap that I marked earlier from my very first trip down here with the dead party doesn't seem to exist. So probably it was like a little further up. It was dark, you know. Everyone was dead. What do you want? Mad Howlers. Uh, I don't know what a Death Imp is. I'm going to give it a try. I don't know what a Blood and a Fast is for that matter, but I'm going to hit the Mad Howlers because they have a static status effect that I don't like. Um, mages are going to Mind Blade because there's a lot of enemies.
So Grisnak stoned something when she hit. That means it dies. It doesn't matter how many hit points it has, it dies. So, in a way it's kind of a design problem because it's like an infinitely good weapon. How do you, how do you make something better than an infinitely good weapon? It's a tough one. I have no idea how much to fear those death imps. Some things are hammering us. This looks like we might all die. Maybe I should have cast anti-magic instead of bind blade. Well, this mind blade spell is like the third time the third mind blade was the charm, I guess. <coughs> Death imps are not going down, though. And there's my restoration. That's very nice. I'm going to use a fire horn, not because I think it's great, but because it, it just feels like... Um, Layering the damage on the death imps is the priority right now. I wasn't really clear on who was breathing on me for 40 points of damage. Oh, they also are summoning lots more. Well, that can be fixed. Uh, fire Hand isn't really working. I don't know why I'm carrying around all these carpet with three charges. That doesn't seem doesn't seem worth carrying. I should get rid of that thing. Oh, I could try out the sorcerer's staff. See what it does. Griselda. Let's watch to see what she does. She casts a spell, un unstated what it does. Okay, not ideal.
Nineteen thousand. That seems like a whole big haul. Oh, and meanwhile. No, no, stop. Go away. I want to cast Second Sight. Trap, waiver, something. I'd like to know what something means. If there was an explosion here, it's either randomly not appeared this time, or I stepped on it without noticing earlier. Spells wavering here is in the news. change the color this time. Okay, there are some things in this row. On the first row, of course, we already knew that that didn't have any. I don't think, I somehow think it's going to be here, but we'll see. Next. Okay. Now, of course, there could be multiple somethings in a row. So you step on the first something and there's still another something in front of you. I don't see anything happening. There's definitely no something to the north at this point. I don't remember if there was a something in this row. Okay, let's try step it. There will be something in the next row for sure. Ah, it's a uh, hit point drain spot. I wonder if something ahead is always a hit point drain spot. Somehow I feel like turning enemies to stone will make them harder to loot. A master wand. Okay, stepping forward, 
with more hit point range. And more. I should be checking to the right, to the north. Okay, so checking on the north, we have no more somethings. And I think it didn't say your spells waver on that one. Oh no, it does. Maybe it got cut off before the combat. Or I didn't notice it. I don't really want to wander around in anti-magic, though. Maybe I'll put it off. I guess I lied, because I didn't know... I thought this blue thing, this blue zone was here? And it might be there, but it's definitely here. So, I can detect anti-magic by casting a cheap buff. So, forward, Mako. Forward. I run away. Forward. Okay, that was that was definitely a trap. Uh, it's definitely still anti magic. Forward. I, I think I just clobbered the text telling me there was a trap that I'd stepped into. Yeah, look at everyone who's poisoned. There was a trap. Stop attacking me. I want to cast... I'm trying to map. These are probably all guaranteed monster squares, too. Yep. Okay, as expected, the anti-magic lasts till here. What else we got? Um, second sight, bard song. Oh, you know why some of those traps didn't go off? Because I was levitating. That's what it's for. Prime Demon, Purifiers, seems winnable. Probably should do anti-magic soon. Maybe I don't need to.
Trap is near. So from here, there's a trap in one of these three squares. If I step forward, I don't think I've set it off yet. Set it off yet. So pretty sure trapped in this spot. So let's go back. Oh, he didn't actually step forward. And now I'm spinning in place. I don't think I got a new trap message, but I don't know. Yeah, I just didn't get a chance to put it down. Okay, so I stood here and cleared this trap. Step one forward and I could see a new trap, so there's one here too. And now I'm standing here and can see a new trap. One, two, three. And again. I think it lets me step forward. Ugh, too busy having me get attacked. Invisibility. I think I'm here, maybe. Are you gonna... Wow, they just really don't like to die. Okay. Ice Storm works well against them. Am I full up on those? I don't think I'm full up on those. Uh, in fact, maybe I have none of them. Can I trade one to... I meant to do Chantrelle. Well, I one cannot use it, which is not surprising. I'm, st I'm stuffed full of harmonic gems. I'm gonna drop another fire horn that I don't need. 
and hand some harmonic gems over to my mages, who should probably be using their harmonic gems. Okay, trade a gem to a mage. And now, and a helm to a bard. She replaces her mithril helm. Is that an upgrade for anyone? Probably not, but let's check. Oh, Lady Oakshield already had a mithril helm. And my rogue... Elena... It's an upgrade. No, it's a downgrade. The unidentified item is, in fact, an adamantite helm or something equivalent. Okay. Where am I? I'm without a second sight spell. That's where I am. Okay, um, I guess let's kill these death claws and then leave the dungeon for a moment. I don't think I really want to explore, I'm not super excited, well do I leave, yeah at least, whatever. I just don't feel in the mood, these are all going to be special squares. Oh, I could. I guess I could scout them from the south. Why don't I do that before I leave? I keep seeing stoning him and thinking it's my characters. I know they're all women, but um, in the old games, sometimes I. Sometimes the, the pictures were not like evocative or important to me, and I just named some of my characters as females because it never cho gave me a choice about do you want this character to be male or female, and I decided some of them were female. But then it would always say him in combat. It was a little off-putting. And this came out significantly before Wasteland. Although I haven't played Wasteland, so maybe Death Claws um, had to wait until Fallout to exist. But Death Claw always gives me this, you know, out of time feeling because I'm like, wait, those aren't Death. Wait, no. I mean, I guess Death Claw is not a particularly unusual fantasy name to come up with. But they're both interplay, so there's that. Okay, so... I think I can actually figure some stuff out already. If I'm... If 
if I'm here and I say spells waiver, that means this one is spells waiver. This one I think is here, but I'm not sure about that. It's like a question mark, right? I can put a question mark down. Question mark, where are you? I think you're down here. Yeah, I'm gonna use this for maybe. Okay, no spells waiver, nothing interesting at all actually in that column, nor that one. I already knew that spells would waver here and here, here. There is nothing to detect. So I'm going to use this marker for couldn't detect anything. Okay, I'm feeling the draw of exploring the room. But not the draw of that fight for some reason. I want to go explore the room. One death imp. We're fighting one death imp. Partly to find out if I can, what dead thimps do. They gnaw and get turned to stone statues of death imps. So stepping forward should give me an explosion. Didn't. Maybe that's the fault of the magic carpet? Okay, um, and now we see a trap. There were, there, I mean, or we can detect a trap that we couldn't detect before, so we know it's there. Uh, nothing seems to be happening on this square. Nor this one. Trap and waiver. Neither of those is new. North. North. Why do I not get the waiver message anymore? Oh, blood and a fast. Two spirit mages. One death adder. Let's try. I'm going to try fighting these. Everyone's attacked the Death Adder. Unfamiliar with that thing. Might be, be might be bad. Anti-magic and anti-magic. Ooh, that is some mean spell casting. Let's hope the speed boots let me run. Run. Okay. So, from this direction we got Spells Waiver. No shock. From this we didn't. Also not a surprise. I just lose. I lost second sight. I'm here. Yeah. Why is second sight not sticking? Is this like poor man's anti magic? Because my shield is still on. 
What is that? I think that there's the cell effect all over the place in this area that you don't get to use second sight. Okay, there was a trap here. That's a spell point drain. Might as well say I walked here because I did. Also a spell point drain. And so is that. That this will be too. Yep. As is that. Okay, I think that's enough of this fun house for a bit. Is it going to claim I can see a far wall? No, but it will show me it's the end of the dungeon. So I'm going to put walls up here, even though theoretically it could wrap around. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. So for this room, I guess we'd already mapped out a large percentage of it, but now it's even larger. And of the whole dungeon, of this whole level of the dungeon, we pretty much got it down. The real reason to like step on all these random squares, of course, is in case there's a secret on them. I mean, you know, like a message or an item or something. Twenty and Awfully far down. Or far up.
Well, endure is one more strength. Or is all there is one more dexterity. And look, I'm walking around with someone poisoned who's steadily dying. Screw you, Elena. You haven't been doing a very good job. Okay, what new spells did I get? We could look them up in the manual, but... I don't know. I don't want to... Try to bring the manual up over the game screen. Now, if you were playing out of the manual, of course, you would anticipate the spells, which would make you perhaps make different decisions. I'm not including that in this playthrough. Okay, so the new spells are the Unimportant Wind Giant. Pretty good summon, but again, summons aren't as good as another character. And Sorcerer Sight. This is like Second Sight, but doesn't turn off on its own. Doesn't time out. Pretty sure in this room it would get cancelled everywhere we go, just like Second Sight was. But on a easier dungeon or uh, just wandering around, I could cast it and this will just stay running. Okay, um, I guess I should take a look at, I should bring up the new, the, this is the current state of my casters. Here's our gnome sorceress. And here's our elf sorceress. It says sorcerer, but somehow I feel like sorcerer is decidedly male. Even though I don't feel like conjurer is. I didn't make it up, or maybe I did. Anyway, stopping for now.